Hmm. We see until here in our previous video a lot of kind of chalcedony with inclusion, with bands, with many different structure inside. But there is a wide group of chalcedony that are the most used in gemology that are um, very colored but without any kind of inclusion and without of bands. So um, we rewrote this scheme of chalcedony including this new um, material. So we have um, chalcedony concretion that is big group of chalcedony and agate and uh, the chalcedony without inclusion that are a different kind of uh, chalcedony with different origin. So we, we speak about colored one, we just spoke about lace and we will speak about bacon in the next chapter. Okay, this is the appearance of the um, colored chalcedony used in, in jewelry. This is a perfect material for make gemstones. There is no bands, there is not any kind of inclusion, so uh, they are used because they are flawless. They are uh, a little bit translucent, never uh, they are uh, really transparent because it is a fibrous material, but we cannot find most of any kind of saginite or dendrite or, or, or other stuff in this colored calcedon. So we have seen that um, the opal, organic opal, uh, is amorphous in the atoms and radiovarians, and this is the mm, precursor that transform into jasper. So uh, we know that opal and jasper <coughs> are two uh, polymer of silica, and this is less stable and decay, or is a little bit more crystallized in jasper. So jasper is also not fully crystalline, but is a little bit more crystalline and with less water than opal. For this reason, mm, jasper is more tough and more resistant than opal. We also saw that jasper and chalcedony are very similar each other, very similar material, and there is a, um, a geological environment where mm, they can mm, crystallize, they can grow at the same time in the same nodule in, ja in some jasper gate. So we, see, we saw that some kind of moss uh, that drip from the top of a chalcedony mm, filled nodule can drip some material at the base of the nodule that is jasper. So they are together in the same uh, chemi geochemical context. So it mm, cannot be impossible to imagine that opal can be transformed in chalcedony instead that in jasper. So um, in this case uh, is opal uh, CT, that is uh, opal not from organogenic uh, formation, but is the opal that uh, precipitates directly from solution. And this opal can be transformed in chalcedony with a process very similar to that one see for the transformation of opal in jasper. So this is an idea we want to try to see if there is enough uh, material that show uh, the possibility of this hypothesis. So the most important uh, ca uh, ca colored chalcedony is the green one, is the chrysoprase, is very famous, very popular. It is found in vein inside um, a basic uh, uh, ophiolite so uh, a basic volcanic rock that uh, uh, undergo some kind of alteration so usually the altered uh, earth rock is of this color and this uh, is rock uh, commonly contain nickel so this nickel is the responsible for the green color of the of the uh, of the chrysoprase chrysoprase uh, in every deposit in, in all around the world have more or less this appearance is in vein not nodular and the vein uh, uh, with uh, total absence of bot botroids, there is no botroidal structure, there is not bands inside, and there is not any kind of moss, plume, or other kind of inclusion. So it's a kind of massive, more or less crystalline, with some domain of crystallization. The color can change from green to some 
yellow green to some who are blue but always the uh, the shape uh, of the rough is the same but there is another material with a very very similar aspect in vain green color no inclusion no bands but this is opal this uh, is a sample from Tanzania is found in the same ostrock uh, also here the nickel is re responsible for the color so mm, it is quite possible that this opal can be the precursor of the green chalcedony the precursor of chrysoprase this is called chrysopal and the crystallization of the chrysopal could be the result in the chrysoprase another very famous probably the more uh, famous and more costly kind of chalcedony is the gem silica gem silica is the blue variety of chalcedony is found uh, also in vein in uh, a copper deposit is a, a kind of chalcedony that contain copper or uh, contain uh, chrysocolla and uh, usually uh, this chalcedony grow on the top of uh, chrysocolla massive um, or deposit and uh, um, sometimes there is some cavity filled with quartz crystal or botroids but mostly of the material is in small vein um, also this material have never uh, has never um, bands are never inclusion like moss and this uh, quite transparent but there is a precursor possible precursor that is the Andean opal is a blue opal uh, often associated with uh, gem silica in, in Peru but uh, most common is the, uh, its presence in vein as opal uh, also uh, without structure and without uh, any kind of inclusion inside the more common color for chalcedony is the pale blue the pale blue is uh, probably its natural color uh, due to probably some uh, ferrous iron um, but um, in, in jewelry uh, the most intense color are very very rare so this is the more common color also if the rough look more dark but this color is due to the skin if you cut the skin inside is more probably of this color and this more mm, dark color is quite rare this is the typical deposit uh, most important deposit of this kind of unbanded calced blue calcedony is from Turkey and uh, um, this deposit is typically nodular and there is a, a possible precursor in blue opal from Hawaii mountain in Oregon this uh, mm, opal is found in a thunder egg filling so they are uh, a kind of nodule also and in an area very rich in, in opal deposit the color is very similar and uh, also is used for gemology no inclusion no moss nothing inside and no band um, very appreciated is the purple variety of chalcedony this shown here is from Sumatra but there is many deposits around the world this is probably the last arrived uh, on the market and this in vain the deposit is small one it's not so rich deposit but um, the material can be translucent with very nice color without any kind of inclusion and there is very common very known from Mexico a uh, material called pa purple opal or also morado opal and is in small nodule or in vein and they have the same color uh, of the uh, purple chalcedony mm, quite rare is the pink chalcedony I found just one deposit in uh, Nevada uh, Texas spring is a replacing of uh, limb uh, of wood so a small uh, piece of wood that are, co are completely replaced by chalcedony and this color is not 
so good for gemology is more a uh, collector piece uh, but is also a chalcedony without inclusion without moss without bugs and there is a, a classic in in the market from peru uh, a, the pink opal is a massive material without any structure inside it can be the precursor of pink opal of pink chalcedony the white variety, um, white chalcedony is very common in many kinds of um, uh, concretion, and uh, uh, the, the white opal is called cacholong, is also in nodular uh, structure, and mm, often have a snake skin uh, pattern on all around, that is the same pattern that is found in this snake, na snake skin agate, and this remember uh, a fracturing pattern of the opal that w we see also in, in the chapter about uh, jaspers chemical jaspers so mm, these two material can be uh, one precursor of the other one so uh, resuming we found that uh, mm, all the uh, colored chalcedony without inclusion without bands if um possible precursor uh, of being a material very similar in the geological shape uh, geological situation and the, uh, the shape of the rough uh, with the same color that can be um, the precursor that uh, is uh, uh, transformed uh, for recrystallization for loss of water into, uh, into chalcedony so chrysopal can be transformed in chrysoprase and so on. So um, we know that opal and jasper never have inclusion, primary opal uh, and chemical jasper. So when they precipitate, they are very mm, dense colloidal solution that do not form any kind of moss. While usually primary chalcedony, like first chalcedony layer, always have some kind of inclusion like moss or many other minerals so the fact that all this this chalcedony uh, are more similar to the opal um, can uh, be consistent with the fact that they are uh, secondary so um, we can guess we can hypothesize that uh, um, opal is uh, a quite instable material and uh, can be transformed into jasper in many cases that we see in many chapters but can be also transformed in chalcedony in, in the case of uh, colored chalcedony and in the case of bacon opal that we will see in the next chapter so mm, the, reac the reaction of uh, uh, for jasper is uh, opal a amorphous opal of organogenic uh, origin that transform in opal CT, so as a kind of more crystalline opal, and then it transforms into, into jasper with uh, with uh, a kind of loss of water. So the same uh, is by uh, primary uh, precipitation uh, CT opal can be transformed in chalcedony with loss of water. Uh, so. Mm, both jasper and chalcedony are more crystalline than opal and therefore more stable um, we see also that an important group of jasper are formed by the alteration of volcanic glass uh, this is the case of um, the volcanic jasper so mm, opal being uh, amorphous technically is a kind of glass and uh, for this reason is an unstable material so the the, the very uh, easy to form opal uh, the very easy cap possibility in nature to form opal um, is restrained by the fact that with time with geological time this opal tend to crystallize and because uh, both ca opal uh, cal jasper and chalcedony are a polymer of silica um, this that is the more rich in water uh, and less crystalline tend to be transformed in one of the two um, polymer of silica that are stable with less water 
and a little bit more crystalline uh, appearance. So this uh, uh, is uh, consistent with uh, a kind of uh, instability of primary opal and uh, a better stability of jasper and chalcedony.